I want to talk a little bit about how I made this stakeout poll. Now there's a bazillion videos out there on YouTube on how to make do-it-yourself stakeout polls. For a lot of those other solutions, PVC seems to be the lowest common denominator of what they're all made of. But I don't like that, and here's why. Here's a piece of half-inch PVC, and as you can see, it's got a lot of flex in it. And that's just not going to hold a heavy boat like my Jackson Cusa FD uh, stable. This would probably work on a light kayak and light current, but the tides can move pretty fast here where I am, so this is a loser. So what I did is I took the advice of one of my subscribers and went to A.M. Leonard and got one of these fiberglass tree spikes. And it comes already sharpened down here at the end, so you don't have to breathe in fiberglass as you try and sharpen it or do some kind of do-it-yourself point on the end of the PVC. Now, I decided that all I needed here was a six-foot stakeout pole based on the area where I fish. It's usually pretty shallow. So I recommend you don't go with the full 10 feet like this came in, but you know, cut it off to match your environment. Now the other thing I've learned through the School of Hard Knocks is it's not a good idea just to put a piece of pool noodle on the pipe and expect it to, to stay up. A lot of times that this pool noodle is going to slip off and you're going to lose your stakeout pole. So what I've done is I drilled a little hole through the handle I made, used one of these zip ties that has the hole in the top here, and then tied onto that. Now I know that this is going to be connected to the stakeout pole. Because even if I tie this to the pole, it has a tendency to slip off as well. So you don't want that to happen to you. Uh, just to finish the explanation here, I got the marine epoxy and just filled the T here, stuffed this in. This is a three-quarter inch T, and that's given me my, my T fitting to push this into the ground with. So that's the end of the story, and be sure you pay attention to how you attach your safety line to the pole so you don't lose it. If you've got suggestions or actually links to other good videos on doing DIY poles or how to mount them on your kayak, please throw those in the comments so everybody can see what the universe is doing with stakeout poles. Take care.